And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Fizz. That's right, we're going to be playing a deck where we're going to be buffing our own units in our deck and also ramping and getting to a pretty sweet top end. All right, so we're going to be playing, it's also going to be a Fizz deck. So we're going to go like Starlet Seer, Fizz, like where we really care about spells. So we're, you know, we're going to have a good amount of spells. Um, but we're also going to care about plunder, and so something that kind of mixes with both of those is shared spoils. That if we have our plunder, we're drawing a card, plus it's a spell for Fizz, it's a spell for Starlet Seer. We're going to be using Wolf Rider in here, caring about plunder, that we can ramp with Wolf Rider. Also, Wolf Rider is a, an overwhelm thing, so if we're making one of our units bigger in our deck with casting stars with Starlet Seer, maybe that's Wolf Rider that gets that, over, you know, that could be a, an even bigger overwhelm thing. Um, then we have, you know, Sprayfin, which draws a spell for us. And we have our top end. So we have the Tusk Raider as, like, our main top end card. Uh, where, again, if we have Plunder turned on, we double the power and health of all the allies in our deck. And, of course, also draw a Sejuani. So we're trying to ramp into Tusk Raider. Of course, Sejuani, another great thing to just, you know, be making a lot larger because the Overwhelm. And then we got one copy of Field of Rush that we're ramping into also, where Field of Rush can put a 10-10 Sejuani and a 10-10 Fizz into play. And so, like, being able to go, like, feel the rush, put, like, a 10-10 Fizz, maybe we cast a Warning Shot, give it Elusive, um, that could be pretty sweet. So um, that's what our deck's about. Let's see if we can uh, have a bunch of Ramp and Plunder and large units and some Elusive, um, a bunch of Overwhelm, just kind of combining all that together. And at the core of everything is going to be Starlet Seer. Let's see how we do. We'll go play our five games in ranked. What do you see, Puck? Wait, what are you looking at? Come here. Jump. There you go. She's like crouched down forever. Like you were gonna jump. All right, so we have Warning Shot Wolf Rider. That's good. Let's get rid of the Make It Rain. Um, I wanna keep the Salvage. I want the card draw. We're going to hopefully find some earlier stuff, besides just having all four mana cards. Starless here. Hmm. Wow. At least we got the salvage. Go find Starless here for us. All right, not a good start. But we're gonna ramp with Wolf Rider. Smell that bark, fear. We have some extra mana to use. The Isles will bloom again. This dog is Puppy. That's her name. And the other dog's named Harvey. That's I'm petting Harvey with my left hand. She's laying down on the ground right now. Um, let's see. Gotta go with the flow. Ouch. All right. Well, first game really didn't work out for us. This really didn't work out for us. Okay, got a Tusk Raider. We're only two turns away from playing that. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. So this will leave me with six mana and then three mana. No Starlet Seer. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Alright, I like that. That's a good draw. Did 
let's just use Elixir of Iron right here. And we'll have Troll Chant to do some more protecting for us. Possible I should just be playing my Sejuani right now, but I kind of want to play this Tusk Raider. Um, I know we could play the Tusk Raider first before attacking, but then they just get a free... Um, a free sapling to block the Tusk Raider. Killed Maokai. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Oh, pass turn. Plan on this turn going like. These aisles will be cleansed. Warning shot, Tusk Raider. And now we have another shared spoils. That hurts quite a bit. Do I need to use a flash freeze here? Hey, Breeze. Hey, Mama Man. Um, all right, do we need to use a flash freeze? I guess so. You know, it's basically, you know, it's either flash freeze or shared spoils. Flash freeze keeps, um, keeps them from drawing a card. Alright, so now these things are gonna be now they're gonna be deep, so now they're gonna get the the huge bonus. You own what you take. We own all we see. Protect our grove. Attack for a bunch. Put them to fourteen. I can't imagine this next turn is going to go very well for me. I can't imagine leveled up Maokai is very good for me either. So I have four units left, none of them are champion, or like four cards left. We have no champions left. Um, we do we do have the ability to play Sejuani's Fear of the North and put that back into the deck to reshuffle and everything. So I don't have to worry about... I don't really have to worry about decking out because we can reshuffle Sejuani. As long as the Sejuani doesn't die. Well, that's not a good draw. <laughs> I cannot play Salvage. I 
They're trying to kill the Sejuani. Wonder, wonder if Wolf Rider is more valuable than Sprayfin. Maybe it is. Sprayfin doesn't seem that valuable. Let's hopefully um, affect the board a little faster this time. Because scouts are going to be out there pretty fast. Alright, love having the Starless here. Love having that card. Um, I do like Shared Spoils a bunch, but we don't have any way to turn on Shared Spoils. And yeah, I think that with this matchup, it's just more important to look for some cheaper cards. But Starless here is definitely going to be very important in our deck. be a, a tough matchup because of how fast and aggressive they can be and also challenging my units. Moment Hawk. Who goes there? I need you last turn, buddy. Please no misfortune. No. No prey, no pay. Yeah, I don't know if we'll ever face a scout's deck without misfortune. I use the troll chant like that so that my the tracker doesn't kill my starlets here right here. But this this misfortune is going to be a, a real problem. Like that's that's why that was a big, you know, that uh, blinding assault was was really bad because it's just an extra attack for the misfortune. And it, it's at two out of four for leveling up. The most likely thing that's going to happen here is we just get ran over by misfortune level up. We got make it rain. The coral. So they could have sharp sight and block. I'll write my own story. This will be a good winter. Okay, I like one mana four four. Mana 4 4 is a good tempo play. Hopefully, no scout. I gotta show nope, you that's a scout. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. Dang, it's just leveled up misfortune. GG's. Just like Honey Thresher used. Hmm. 
this will be a little different. At least Twisted Fate. Alright, we're gonna mulligan one Fizz and the Salvage, with the Salvage taking a little bit longer. You're welcome, Zurich. I don't think there's any real reason to wait on the Fizz. Okay, well, I guess we could have waited. So we'll be going Starless here. I like having another Starlet Seer. I kind of want to play that first, but I'm going to do this before... You know, I don't want to allow them... I don't know. You know, basically, Blighted Caretaker is amazing. I don't really want to allow them to go Blighted Caretaker, Cursed Keeper. You know that that's super strong. They still do just have a Spider Token, though, because a Hapless Aristocrat. So they'd still have that for Blighted Caretaker. Not wonderful. Hey, Dark Dragoon, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Oh, we got a couple Tusk Raiders. Feels like an odd attack. Let's not ruffle our feathers. Oh no! Surprised the sneaky zebels didn't Spin, attack. Spin, you win. Who, who goes there? A game. Go on then. For silver, I talk. For gold, I feast it. Alright, so they're drawing a good amount of cards. Pool Shark for Fortune Croaker is pretty cool. I like that in a Twisted Fate deck. What did we get? Another Tusk Raider. We're going to be doubling, quadrupling, <laughs> I don't know, eight timesing. And give all the power and health of our allies in our deck times eight if we're able to play all these. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Oh, an we'll let the fizz die. We got a backup fizz. Um oh yeah, there's gauntlet again this week. Yeah, I guess we should do the gauntlet again. That hurts that they got that elusive, of course. That really hurts my ability to turn on plunder. Come on, give it a try. No fear. Fly away while you can. This would be a good winter. Uh, no, I probably won't be doing the lab. No, probably not. It's the same lab as like the lab that we played before, but you just get to play your own decks. This is a very awkward hand. Our, our best draw is like Salvage that draws two cards. Right, like I, I regret mulliganing that Salvage for sure. All right, we'll just get an eight-seven overwhelm, I guess. Um, doesn't ramp us, but you know we can start playing Tusk Raiders next turn. Won't have Plunder turned on with the Tusk Raiders, but Tusk Raider will still draw a Sejuani. This was a really disappointing game. I feel like this was a, a matchup we could win. This is just a really disappointing game. I, uh, I guess I, I really regret Mole getting the salvage.
because I just haven't had anything to do. Okay, so they're just... They're drawing a bunch of cards over there. They're out. Um, you know, out grinding me. They're doing, they're doing a lot of stuff. Take me for a spin. Ha ha. Function call. Celebrate. Try again. You own what you take. All right, basically just trying to stay alive. Probability of winning this is pretty low. This twist of fate's probably going to level up and kill us. Looks like that's what their deck's focused on. The biggest thing that we've kind of found with our deck is, you know, lack of removal. Right, like I can't kill. I'm gonna kill Misfortune. I can't kill that twist of fate. I can't kill anything. The Tusk Raiders looked really, really slow. We have the attack token on turn six. I'm going to keep Sejuani as something that can potentially kill a Misfortune. Maybe our opponent doesn't have turn, turn three Misfortune. That would be the best. I like the Omen Hawk into Wolf Rider. I like, you know, like with the 5 4 Wolf Rider. I like that a bunch. I could cast, you know, I could save my three spell mana from turn two. Cast Make It Rain on turn four, and then Wolf Rider and Ramp, and we could have Sejuani on five. Please, no misfortune. Wow. Alright. First time they don't have turn three misfortune today. I want to attack and allow them to use Repost right now. Them. I guess so. I'll close my eyes, make it fair. So they don't have Repost, it's very good for me. Nope, they do. Bastards. We still dealt three damage to them. Big Sejuani next turn. Still heart, steady aim. Might as well cast Warning Shot this turn to help level up Sejuani, make Sejuani 3 out of 5. And of course get another plus 1 plus 1 with the Starless here. Okay, so we'll go Sejuani on the Quinn. The Winter's Claw knows no fear, and Demacia knows no failure. Lasso Sejuani's. Ride onward. A long path to get here. The wood can't fight back, but I can. These woods. 
It's either I'm just going, yeah, like the Genevieve here. We're going to go Fury of the North. I could also go Flash Freeze on the Genevieve Elmhart. I think I should save it. Because, let's see. Okay, if I do not cast Flash Freeze, then they can attack with both of these. The Protégé challenges my Sejuani, and we take seven. But if I use the Flash Freeze here, and they attack with both, with Protégé challenging Sejuani, then we have the 4-5 to block Cythria and do four damage to Cythria. All right, actually, yeah, I'll just cast a second Fury of the North. That Fury of the North was, again, a, a 7-8 Sejuani. That does mean they don't get to attack. Fight for your lives. Strong will have the spoils. All right, that Sejuani is even bigger. We, of course, don't know what the, what's going to be in their hand for their other five cards, but still, with us having, like, the Flash Freeze even available, I feel like it's pretty difficult for them. Okay, so they have the plus two, plus two card. Yes, they, they have to have the Sharp Sight to make, um, to make Cythria a 9-9. Nine, nine. Yep. So now, now I don't damage them, so now I don't Frostbite their team. So the Omen Hawk dies. But then they they just didn't block the Tusk Raider, so I guess that wasn't the case. I kind of thought that they would be blocking the Tusk Raider. All right, feeling pretty good about this one. We've seen two of our three warning shots as far as frostbiting and all their stuff goes. Okay, well, not another warning shot. I, I wanted another warning shot or make it rain. That's what I wanted was warning shot or make it rain. Still gonna keep four blockers available. Yeah, warning shot or make it rain would have been the best. This is gonna be close. Alright, GG's. There we go, in the win column. One and three. Back to Scouts. I guess Scouts is the deck today. Yesterday was all the KDA cards. Today is the Scouts. Which I don't mind again, hopefully. I mean, that could be a, a good thing to keep. Good curve to keep. Again, please just no misfortune. Hopefully no misfortune. We lost to Scouts before. We're one and one against Scouts. Yep, yep, yep. I want to trade. Oh. You'll be sorry. <laughs> that Fleet Feather Tracker with the challenge, with Misfortune, all that kind of stuff. I, I think this is a good trade. Good trade. <laughs> Alright, let's draw Make It Rain. But please, no misfortune. No misfortune. 
Not Yay! The stink of blood and sweat. No misfortune. Blessed by snow and stars. Hooray! Slow down, will you? Dash, shut up. That frees up a mana for me to attune with. And does some damage to them. I know the tracker can now kill my wolf rider, but... Oh well. Keeps them from having that scout attack. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Mm. Gotta go with the flow. No. Scouting ahead. That was unfortunately the worst thing to hit. I was hoping to get, you know, like Troll Chant, Mega Rain, anything like that. No! Blessed by snow and stars. Mm. Can't quite cast that card. Take those trades. And these two on challengers are, are just awesome. I'd call trade fizz away. I don't know really why they attacked with that 2 2, but I'll take it. We will take Demacia. Not the first time I've heard that. I'll defend these forests to the end. We will defend them to the end. Grace. That of course means they get to level up when mm. hold nothing back. Like a fish in water. No, worst card to hit again. Back to back, worst card to hit with spray fin. Still heart, steady aim. So I'm down to five. With Valor goes, of course, hoping no kind of rally card. Fly swiftly, kill swiftly. I'm sorry. Smell that barg? Fear. Reavers! Sound the alarm! I'll write my own story! Yes, yeah, so with having that, if they have a rally, we lose. Arm. Well, they had, didn't have misfortune, so I thought that we were gonna get it, but that Ranger's Resolve, you know, like that combination of Genevieve plus Ranger's Resolve um, to save Quinn. Uh, just got that from my opponent, and we just we just bricked with Sprayfin twice in a row. It was basically, out of all these spells, you know, I just couldn't hit Shared Spoils. Like, we just need to draw Troll Chant or Flash Freeze or Make It Rain or Elixir of Iron. I needed any of those on either Sprayfin, and we bricked both times hitting Shared Spoils. So, like, Shared Spoils and Warding Shot would have both been bricks both times. Um, but that's over, you know, over half of them were cards that we needed. And we bricked both times. So. Where, where? Um, so our, I don't know. Our deck was not as good as like normal Fizz of like Twisted Fate Fizz and just going with all the elusives and just trying to kill them with, with really fast elusives. I think that's a better deck. But this one was trying to use the Tusk Raider. Um, you know, trying. And so like we tried to ramp into, into Tusk Raider. Um, Tusk Raider is just pretty slow for the current metagame, and we saw that like with Tusk Raider not having any keywords, it does kind of feel like this this card needs other keywords like Overwhelm or something like that. It's just it's just pretty slow. 
Um, so that was that was kind of difficult. It was a difficult one. Um, there's a lot of a lot of options you could go with this kind of deck though. Like maybe the the tough part is like making sure you can continually turn on plunder for the tusk raider, and also get it out fast enough. Those are the kind of difficult things. We could have gone more spells and gone more more ramp. You know, like maybe we should have played like Weirding Stones and um, Catalyst of Aeons with Catalyst of Aeons working well with Starlet Seer. I was surprised how poor Fizz was in our deck. We ended up being a really bad Fizz deck. And so it made me think that, that uh, we should have just had Twisted Fate instead of Fizz, where, you know, Twisted Fate could help us get some more removal and stuff like that. But with playing Wolf Rider and Sprayfin, I didn't want another four mana card because we saw that being a problem of us just having too many fours. So I think that if you would go Twisted Fate, you probably would not play Wolf Rider, but you could play um, the three mana 04 and stuff like that instead. The other way you could go with this deck is, you know, make it, make it just like a Misfortune Scout deck, you know, Misfortune Sejuani. It's kind of a, a proven deck. You could go that that version if you want to go Tusk Raider, but the the thing here was to play Starless Seer and Tusk Raider, and so then if you're if you're going that route, you're just not going to have very many spells, um, so it's going to be you know real difficult for Starless Seer to have a big impact if you're going that route. All right, but there we go. That's that's Sejuani Fizz. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what would you do with if you wanted to play a starlet seer deck with a good amount of spells and a tusk raider if you have any other ideas for that like would you go to like maybe targon and or why or things like that i'd love to hear your ideas over on youtube i really appreciate that all right but anyway thank you so much for watching some sejuani fizz and i'll see you for the next video